volume of evolution. So volume of evolution is actually come with starting a bed equation like this. And originally we have a curve. This is A and this is B. All right, so we have fx here. After we rotate it, it will become a circle and become a cone or prism or something. So to do this, we need to have the integral find the area and then rotate it along the ray. So the volume of it could be found as pi b a f x square radius. So we square it dx. And this is just the basic formula. Remember you square it first before you integrating it and then multiply by pi. For example, we could have y equals to volume within y equals two square and zero between x between three. Just substitute the equation nice and easy. So we have volume equals to pi times three zero two x square dx. So that will become 4x squared dx. So 4x squared become pi 4 over 3x cubed, 3, 0. Uh, yeah. And then we could have the bit equals to pi 3, 9, 9, 20, 36 minus 0 there. So we got 36 pi unit cubed in for some of the cases, we will have area between two curves. So we will have something like this. So we might have two function here. And this is the limit. And you rotate it. Therefore, we become a hollow donut or something. So if that is the case, again, you need to find the limit of those. So the volume of it will be equals to pi b a still the limit and then the top one minus squared and then g x squared dx always the top minus the bottom all right but b o t d o so that is how we gone through the top and uh, the top one and the one below. We minus that through. So let's have an example of that one as well. So, for example, we have two curves. Y equals to x square and y equals to root x. If you square it, it will lo it will sketch it. It will go like this. And then you rotate it. It become a cone shape. Excuse my drawing, I'm just really not good in drawing. Oh, actually, it's not bad. So we do the uh, same best. The root x is on top and the x squared is at the bottom. So we do that. We have inter. Ah, we need to find the intersection point for it as well. So we have to have x squared equals to root x. Yes, wait. So x have to be equal to 0 or 1. So if that is the case, we can do that. We have 1, 0. And then we will have the intersecting at the top minus the bottom. So root x squared minus x squared squared dx of pi volume. Nice and easy. So we're going to have that become 1, 0, and x minus x to the power 4 dx. So we have pi 1 over 2 x squared minus x cubed over 1 over times 1 over 5. One zero. So at the end we got pi, and then we got one over two minus one over five minus zero there. So we have three over ten pi as our answer. Nice and easy. You can see the smiley face now. This is the volume of revolution.